So let's take a look at movement number one, push. So for this, I've got my lovely pink Bannatine yoga mat. You can just use the floor. But we're gonna be looking at a kneeling push-up for our face version of the push. So we need to get this one right before we can progress onto the content that Dane's making for you, okay? Now, first things first, come onto your knees and then just walk your hands forward into a box position, which is this one here. Then what I need you to do is just see where your hands are. They should be directly below your shoulders, okay, or there or thereabouts, but nice and solid. Then I need you to think about what your hips are doing, okay? I want you to push your hips forwards, okay? So you get a nice straight line between your knee and your shoulder. What that's going to do is actually switch on all the muscles in your core. That's now supporting your body weight, just holding this position, okay? So, now we're in the right place, and I'm feeling the right muscles switching on. We need to lower the chest to the floor and back up. Now again, that should be all the way down, okay? Range of movement is so important, and if we start to restrict that, okay, and work on a shorter basis, it has to be with progressing that movement range in mind, okay? Because if you don't try and push the boundaries of what you're doing, your body's going to be stuck in that smaller range for a long, long time. So you need to be a bit brave, okay, and try to move through somewhere that might be more difficult or challenging. But that's going to help open up the muscles and open up the joints and keep all the joints far healthier and stronger if we go much further with what we're doing. Okay, so the key points here are to get those hips forward, create that nice straight line, and then lower yourself all the way to the floor and back up. Now, if you can only manage one of those, that's fine, but it's one correct movement, rather than doing a lot of volume, okay, that might be incorrect. We're not gonna get anything from that. So the reason we do this movement analysis is to get it right, and build strong foundations that we can build on later, rather than ones that are gonna see us building a body on foundations of sand, okay? So, key things here, hips forward, core engaged, and lower your chest all the way to the floor before pushing back up, okay? Those are your challenges for your base level push, and if you get confident and competent in executing that, move on to Dane's content, where he's looking at how to progress this movement. That was exercise one, or movement number one, push.